This is a re-TV mini doc. Kids who kill. Are they a product of their environment or are they simply born killers? This mini series, Killer Kids, will look at some of the most publicised cases of children 12 years and younger who have committed murder. Lionel Alexander Tate, age 12, Browood County, Florida, USA, kill count 1. Lionel Tate is the youngest American citizen ever to be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. In January 2001, when Tate was 13, he was convicted of first-degree murder for the 1999 battering to death of six-year-old Tiffany Eunuch in Browood County, Florida. To prosecute Lionel Tate in the state of Florida in the juvenile court system meant that Lionel was facing six to nine months in juvenile detention. That's one month for every year of this little girl's life. And in my estimation, that was not an appropriate sentence. And that was not justice for this little girl. Two children left alone to play, and a six-year-old girl ends up dead. Tiffany died of multiple blunt traumatic injuries. Was this a case of child's play gone wrong? He was play fighting with her and didn't understand that it could lead to her death. Or something more sinister. Lionel beat her over the course of five minutes with fists and stomping and kicking and punching. The only person who knew for sure was a 12-year-old boy. In August 1999, 12-year-old Lionel Tate became one of the youngest Americans ever charged with first-degree murder. Tate was left alone with six-year-old Tiffany Eunuch, who was being babysat by his mother, Kathleen Grosset Tate. After 45 minutes of playing with the little girl, Tate told his mum that she wasn't breathing because he'd had her in a headlock and slammed her head on the table. In fact, her injuries ranged from a lacerated liver to a fractured skull, broken ribs and swelling of the brain. The prosecution said her injuries were consistent with those she would have sustained falling three stories to the ground. Tate had stomped on the little girl until she succumbed to her injuries. The day after Tiffany's murder, and Lionel turned to Deweese and said that he would like to have Tiffany's toys and he would like to live with Deweese since Tiffany was not going to be coming home anymore. Benowitz believed this may have been one of Lionel's reasons for killing Tiffany. His life sentence was extremely controversial as he was so young to receive such a long life sentence. The prosecution even joined the plea for leniency in sentencing and offered to help with the appeal. We, the jury, find the defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged in the indictment. Incarceration for your natural life. I realized that Tiffany Eunuch had justice, but I made no uh, secret by the fact that I found life in prison with no parole inappropriate as a sentence. The conviction was overturned in 2004 on the basis that his mental competency had not been completely evaluated before trial. He was released on one year's house arrest and 10 years probation. In September 2003, the case made its way to a federal appeals court in West Palm Beach. Three months later, the court handed down its ruling. Lionel Tate's competency, it said, had not been evaluated prior to his trial. Therefore, he should be granted a new trial. Prosecutor Ken Padowitz again offered a plea bargain. This time, Tate, now a tall, thin 16-year-old, accepted the offer. To both those who had supported Tate and many of those who had helped convict him, his release was a welcome end to a tragedy that nearly claimed a second life. Shortly after being released, Tate allegedly threatened a Domino's pizza delivery man with a handgun outside a friend's apartment after phoning in an order. On the 1st of March 2006, Tate accepted a plea bargain and was to be sentenced to 30 years imprisonment in a sentencing hearing in April 2006. He was allowed to withdraw his guilty plea for robbery but was finally sentenced to 30 years in prison on the 18th of May 2006 for violating probation. On the 19th of February 2008, Tate pleaded no contest to the pizza robbery and was sentenced to 10 years in state prison concurrently with his 30-year sentence for violating his probation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, pretty please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace! You've been watching a ReTV mini doc.